Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 as the Kingdom of Aragon with the Historical Immersion Project mod. In the last episode we took another couple of counties in a Holy War down here. Um, so now we have the Holy War cooldown until 1083. Uh, we also revoked a couple of counties uh, for ourselves in the Duchy of Barcelona here, starting the process of uh, basically migrating my domain over there. I still have the three original counties I started with, but now I have two here. I'm going to uh, try to revoke some more and eventually make this my capital. Um, the Duchy of Barcelona currently uh, is held by the guy who we just revoked a county from. So to actually usurp that we would need another county or we could... Um, no, we just need what would we would just need to get another county and then usurp it, I think. Unless we can't usurp titles from our vassals, maybe that's another thing. Um If I banished him I would get all his titles. I'd lower all my other vassals' opinion by forty. Just revoking the duchy title would lower their opinion by 20. Um, I think actually revoking that title would simplify everything a lot because then I could immediately make this my capital and I would be able to plot to revoke any um, any counties in my capital duchy so I wouldn't need to fabricate claims or anything. I could just get things taken care of pretty quickly. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I don't usually like to take uh, tyrannical actions like this, but in this case it would simplify everything a lot, so I'll go ahead and do it. And I'll do revoke title instead of banish. Um, oh, I actually can't do this. Special revoke reason if we have a truce, I see. Maybe I'll just banish him then, which I can do. Um, it would have the same effect. Okay, I did it. I'm a tyrant. So he still likes me. He didn't even get an opinion bonus or penalty. Maybe it just hasn't shown up yet. Uh, so I still have a domain domain that's too big. Uh, oh, I also got this uh, barony, which I probably will also keep. Let's go ahead and make this my capital right now. Are you sure you want to move your court to Barcelona? Yes, I do. Okay, so now we have three hold two holdings here and one here, so we need to give away two counties, which we'll uh, give away these two. I suppose, for the moment. Uh, let's see. Any particularly good characters we can give them to? Nothing amazing. Um, suppose I don't want to give him a county since he has a claim on my title. Want to give you the county of Alto Aragon. And we'll give you this county. Uh, I've suddenly gone down to a domain size of four. Oh, I only needed to give away one, I see. Well, never mind, that's fine. Okay, we'll appoint you as our chaplain. Set you to proselytizing over there. So now we should be getting the capital county bonus here and here, which is uh, really good. We're sort of doubling the amount of uh, bonus we get from that. And we also have capital duchy here, so we'll want to 
revoke um, a couple more titles in here so we can increase the number of counties getting that bonus. But I think we can do that by plot now since this is our capital uh, duchy. So we'll take, I guess, Girona here. These are all pretty similar type counties. So we'll just take the one in between to make our domain neater. Um, of course, by um, gaining some tyranny as we did just there, we made it less likely that people would join our plot, but it seems we're not going to have a problem anyway. Okay, he doesn't want to give up without a fight. War it is. So this is also why it doesn't really matter that I accidentally gave away one more county than I meant to, because we're going to get another one right now anyway. Um, the Kaiser has set up an anti-pope, okay. Fair enough. Let's just go down and fight his army. We have a niece that needs educating here too. We'll give it to this guy. Uh, I should also move my various counselors around. Let's see. You can train troops in my new capital, please. You can collect taxes in my new capital. Uh, the rest of you are fine, except you don't need to fabricate claims. Why don't you improve diplomatic relations? I guess over here in Castile, maybe? Maybe we can convince them to actually join our wars sometimes? Which would be nice. Um, I have so far only been focusing on expanding, uh, well, obviously into the Duchy of Barcelona, but into the Muslim lands, but of course we could also um, attack our fellow dynasty members and start expanding westwards here, which might be something we should consider at some point. Though it's not urgent since they will at least sometimes come into wars on our side, so it's not actually helping us out that much. I suppose the Duchy of Navarro would be a good one to try and take if we were going to take one. Uh, in fact, that would be a really good one to try and take because it's actually not du jour part of the Kingdom of Castile. So if we were to get a, a claimant and press their claim, then uh, Castile wouldn't have a de jure claim to take it back. My steward has some interesting ideas. Sure. And the current holder of the Duchy of Noara, in fact, is already of our dynasty, so it's possible we could get a claimant uh, of our dynasty and then we could just press their claim and they'd automatically become our vassal. Uh, there are no claimants currently though. So maybe when he dies, there, well there will be at least one claimant. I don't know if um, illegitimate children get claims, probably not. But we can see. Okay, we got a tithe. Rounded up everyone we can find. Yeah, clap their leader in irons, okay. We're at 100%. We'll enforce demands. And I became Count of Girona. Which puts me right back at my domain limit. And we have a much nicer and neater looking domain over here in our new capital, Duchy. 
And this will be the next candy I give away when I need to, of course. I guess I can just go ahead and take another of these candies to fully consolidate my domain together. Then I'd have to give away this duchy, I suppose. I could hold a grand tournament, too. Okay, we get increased levy reinforcement, which is good because it was quite depleted. Another tithe. Very nice. Yeah, I guess I will just go ahead and try to revoke um, this county. Right now. Bad news from Barcelona. You've increased the revolt risk. Well, okay. That's not great. My son lacks all passion and ambition. That will definitely not do. These guys, they never just give up without a fight. I mean, I'm obviously going to win. I don't know what you hope to gain by resisting. Uh, you'll get there on the 10th of October. You will not get out on time, so... Let's disband this one. Uh, this is mountains, but we outnumber him 5 to 1, so it shouldn't be a problem. Whoa, okay. What just happened here? Ah, that's not good. I guess we'll uh, probably have to do something about that. We don't want to lose a county to France. Uh, let's master mountain terrain. There's a lot of that around here. to Girona. Uh, so, we can't fight larger numbers in the mountains. Uh, we can't call anybody in. Uh, we have a decent amount of money, so we could probably afford to hire some mercenaries. White Company, maybe? It still wouldn't give us the uh, numbers advantage. And we're not going to win this war without actually sieging that county, so we can't, uh, we can't win it until we get rid of this uh, army from Toulouse here. Of course, we're not actually at war with Toulouse right now, it's the count here that's at war with Toulouse. Hmm. I guess we just have to hire the mercenaries and hope we can win a quick battle there. So if we take the white company, is that the best? They're not fully reinforced. Or we could take two smaller... Um, Breton company... We took the Breton Company and let's see, Swiss Company. 
that would be four and a half thousand. Which would give us a numbers advantage, but of course we do have the terrain disadvantage. Let's try that. I guess we can take a loan too if we need to. Which it's definitely worth doing rather than losing a county. Uh, that actually gives us pretty much even numbers. I think we are going to have to hire another band. Let's um, let's take a loan. I guess a large loan. We do want to make sure of it. And we'll take another. Uh, maybe the white company as well. Okay. So, um, this is mountains, but let's see where the river crossings... Crossing to Urgul. There isn't one to Ampuria, so we can come in from there without a river crossing. go in now then, I guess. Um, this guy's really good. Probably better than anyone else we could appoint. I think, so we'll just leave them in there. Uh, this count is no longer the guardian. Oh, okay, he died in personal combat. I inherited his county. Well, that's fine. We'll deal with that later. This war, this opportunity to prove my mettle in combat has opened my eyes to my potential as a warrior. My personal combat skills are improving. That's good. The enemy soldiers cut off from the others. It's clear they must be a highborn noble. Yes, let's charge. We realize the enemy is Viscount Bernard of Narbona. Good, okay. Oh, come on. No. really needed to win that. That's terrible. I'm starting to think Infanta Sigrid might fancy me. Infanta of Denmark? Hmm, let's not do that. Alright, well... Maybe I will... I'll just keep the... Mercenaries for the moment. We'll try again, I think. Got nothing to lose. To lose? Get it? <laughs> yeah, we'll pay the interest. We're just about back to mora full morale here. I don't really like our chances of winning this since we couldn't win with greater numbers, but we gotta try. Okay, I've learned many lessons from this battle. You were separated from your men in the chaos of battle and now find yourself in the midst of war. Yeah, prepare to die, lowborn scum. I'm gonna run back. I will remember this battle in its finest detail until the end of my days. Jesus guided my sword into the hearts of a countless number of my foes, raising cheers and battle cries from my surrounding men. As I cut a path through the enemy, my mastery of personal combat has come a long way. Apparently I'm not the only one to think so, so I've become a trained fighter. That's good. But again, we lost the battle. And I was captured by the Duke of Toulouse. Well, that's terrible. Um, I guess that ended my war to revoke this county, though. Which 
in turn ended the war um, from Toulouse to try and take it. Okay. Well, <laughs> I guess um, it wasn't exactly uh, the way I would have liked to end that, but it solved my problems for me, at least temporarily. He still has his county, but we can always try to revoke it again later. We lost a lot of money, but we gained some personal combat skill. Um, let's see if I can ransom myself. Oh, I guess my regent needs to do that. Well, we'll worry about it next time, because uh, we're out of time for this episode. So thanks for watching, and join me again next time to see if I can safely make it out of prison here.